tighten your shrink -thers and prepare for an awesome video. Third man 55 here. And today, I'm doing another art video. And that is going to be on the Diplodocus in Art Survival Evolved. Today. It was almost daylight. There we go. So here is the the Plotticus right here. So I will press the wrong button. <laughs> I will get into him shortly, but first we are gonna read his his dossier for you guys. So here is the Plotticus right there. Very nice picture of him, of it right there. <laughs> so you can ride him, he, you can put weight on him, and he is dumb, apparently. But. Okay, where is his thing? There it is. So, common name Diplodocus, species Diplodocus insulap princep. Okay. Time, late Jurassic, diet herbivore, temperament, naive. Okay, that's, that's a new one. Okay, so. While despite being one of the island's largest creatures, the Plotticus is among the island's smaller sauropods. Instead, instead of the, oh my god. Instead of size and intelligence, the Plotticus developed faster maximum speed and greater endurance. When fully matured, it generally only reaches about half the size of the rather enormous brontosaurus. The Plotticus is another creature whose contained survival on the island confuses me. It's a very thick-headed and trusting animal. Often due to its fatal detriment, it never flees from predators until after they've attacked it repeatedly preferring instead to make numerous fruitless attempts at friendship. <laughs> For some strange reason, the Plotticus trusts humans so much that it doesn't seem to fight back against them, ever. Domesticated. Due to the Plotticus' smaller frame, it cannot support the type of platform saddle that other large creatures can. To make up for this, many tribes instead use an 11-seater passenger saddle, which enables the Plotticus to safely transport 10 additional riders. These passengers often use ranged weapons to protect the creature, or to attack nearby enemies while on the move. Okay, so here is a picture of a person gonna smack the thing because he's being dumb, I guess. There's the skull. There's what looks to be one charging a T-Rex, or an Allosaurus. Or what is that? I think that might be a Giga or something. I don't know. Or he's charging at something. They got your ranged riders on the back there. And yeah, that's gonna be his dossier. Also for the picture of the creature, he is gray, cream color, blue, and orange. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So here is the Diplodocus. Looks very nice. And the funny thing is, his leveling up is so funny. Like, he gets happy. It's kind of funny. There's his big eyes. It's kind of cute. And there's his toes. Yeah, I haven't bothered to color him because yeah, just for the sake of reviewing him, I don't really need to color him. 
But his main color is just like a greenish olive underbelly with brown and a little bit of black and for his little spikes they are red which is pretty cool as you can see I did I did force tame him so didn't put a saddle on him so walking is as you would expect from a uh, sauropod dinosaur very slow but his run I don't even think a sauropod could do this in real life or yeah this is kind of silly but this is probably the fastest moving sauropod I've ever seen I don't even think with the weight of the creature it could actually do this doesn't really have an attack, which kind of makes this thing useless to have, but he can knock creatures back like that. Well, if you have tamed creatures, they will take fall damage, but regular creatures don't take fall damage because, or wild creatures don't take fall damage, but I have no idea why. But they should. But anyway. Yeah, that's basically what you can do with the Diplodocus. Not really that interesting of a dinosaur, but <laughs> it is pretty funny that it can gallop like a horse. Or a dog or a cat or whatever kind of funny <laughs> but yeah I think this is going to conclude my review on the Diplodocus here if you guys enjoyed it like, comment, and subscribe and if you have subscribed already click that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video and I will see you guys soon.